Welcome back, everybody, to 31 1970s Horrors for Halloween, where I'm ranking my top 31 favorite 1970s horror movies. Uh, so today, at number 30, we're looking at Eaten Alive. <laughs> This was Toby Hooper's second horror movie, after he did Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, a lot of people talk about Poltergeist when it comes to Toby Hooper, but I've always viewed Poltergeist as more of a Steven Spielberg movie. Uh, Toby Hooper did have a hand in that, but you can feel Steven Spielberg's uh, fingerprints all over that film. <laughs> If you enjoyed Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Eaten Alive is a good follow-up. It's another hillbilly horror movie. You have this hotel out in the middle of a swampy area, and the hotel owner has a pet crocodile. And as you would expect, he kills people and then feeds them to his pet crocodile. <laughs> This was one of the earliest appearances of Robert Anglund. Before he was Freddy Krueger, he was Buck, and he liked to fuck. This is sort of a mixture of a slasher movie and a killer animal movie. Uh, the crocodile looks pretty cheap, but that adds to the charm of this movie. This is an exploitation film, through and through. You have really gory kills, you have this insane hotel owner who goes on ramblings, it gets pretty crazy. And this was the second time that Marilyn Burns worked with Toby Hooper. She played Sally in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and in this movie she's once again getting roughed up by a hillbilly. My God, what are you doing in here? Get, get out of here. I say that. I love the sleaziness of this movie. I love the campiness. I love how over the top it gets sometimes. This movie feels like it takes place in the same universe as Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Admittedly, Texas Chainsaw Massacre had sort of a documentary film vibe to it, whereas this one feels like more of a movie. Um, but it's still a lot of fun. There are great crocodile moments. Yes, again, the crocodile is cheap, but it's still a an effective crocodile. <laughs> there are some good suspenseful moments, especially when this little girl is trapped under the hotel with the crocodile trying to, to eat her. Um, you, know, you got great croc action. You got great slasher movie action. It's a good mixture, and it's a lot of fun for the Halloween season. Um, I absolutely love Eaten Alive, and it's it's a good watch if you're looking for a hillbilly horror movie that is not as well known as something like Texas Chainsaw Massacre or the Wrong Turn movies or The Hills Have Eyes. Um, very, very fun movie. Highly recommend checking it out. 